My name's Hilary Bailey and I am the author of Sky's Waggy Tales. They're little stories about my dog Sky, who is homegrown here in Island McGee. And my stories are watching Sky in Island McGee and where we've been on holidays, enjoying herself and having fun. I lived in Whitehead all my life. I was born in Whitehead. Lovely place to grow up. Everybody knew everybody. Spent lots of time outdoors. Portmuck is Sky and Jazz's favourite place to be. And as you can see, it's a beautiful place. Beautiful place. Dog owners and dog walkers are there during the winter months, but in the summertime, it's bunged full of local people who go down there and play in the sand. Sky stories are my memoirs of Sky growing up. And the very first story is simply down the lane where we live here, watching her playing with the swallows. I wrote a poem, it started with a poem. Just watching the dogs interact with each other, I thought, they look as if they're talking. Her walking about with the other dogs in the mornings. All you'd see was grass moving in their head and ears, and the grass moving in her head and ears. Swallows dive bombing over her head. And I would stand at the gate and laugh and laugh at this pup playing with the swallows. My illustrator, Lewis Humphrey, is a neighbour, lived up around the corner from me, also had a Springer Spaniel dog, and I met him one day on the road, and I simply asked the question, would you illustrate children's storybooks? And he says, you let me read your stories, and I'll let you know whether I'll illustrate them. And that was my Eureka moment. That was what made my books, because Lewis has done such a fantastic job of bringing them to life. Lewis has a, a marvellous way of setting the scene. Obviously, I give him the stories. He's the one who turns the pages. And he just does it with such real candour, you know, that some of the expressions are marvellous. And he also does our, our countryside justice. Isla McGee is a lovely neck of the world to be. Sky lives beside the Gobbins. We live in the Gobbins Path. So there's lots to see and do here. And I'm amazed at the number of places that Sky's book have been sold around the world. I bought a map just to put the dots on where she'd been. New Zealand, China, Hawaii, lots of places in America. St George's Market brings the world to me and the books have gone all around the world and it's, that's really lovely.